you can see the destruction. Thank you, Dan. Okay, within the next hour, the National City City Council could approve a unique addition to a popular local mall. Yeah, it could be every teenager's dream, a school within a mall. 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals the added benefits students could get by attending classes at Plaza Bonita. It's already a teenage stomping ground. For years, young South Bay residents have flocked to Westfield Plaza Bonita to shop, eat, and hang out with friends. Soon, hundreds may go to school here as well. Tuesday evening, the National City City Council is expected to approve a permit for the Altus Institute to open a charter school in this location right outside the Macy store. School in a mall alone right. sounds right. crazy. Yes. Because that's the greatest lunch break ever. <laughs> you would think so. National City Mayor Ron Morrison loves the idea, mostly because it improves education in his South Bay City. We found a huge gap here in the, in the South Bay area, and we're just rising up trying to meet the needs, and this looks like another great opportunity for that. This would be the seventh Westfield Mall in San Diego County with a charter school. Westfield is changing from being coming just, uh, as I understand it, just purely shopping. Whether it be the movie theater, the retail, the restaurants and where their educational component. The school would have a max enrollment of 207th through 12th graders. Only 20 students would be inside at a time. Program administrators tell 10 News the partnership with the mall allows students to go to school and have a job under one roof. So that they can go to school and have a job at the same time if they like. And they love it. They're Probably our most popular learning centers are the ones in the Westfield malls. More than 30,000 students have gone through the Altus charter schools in the past 20 years. It's a track record Altus hopes to continue at Plaza Bonita. In National City, Joe Little, 10 News. Now, if the city council approves the permit tonight, which it's expected to do, the charter school anticipates being ready for students next month.